Hey guys, Ilya here. I want to talk about the BlueCat Fader Hub today. So this is how Fader Hub can be used. First thing you you do, probably like me, uh, when you have your guitar and the microphone, your guitar is usually in one channel, microphone in another channel. You want to add another channel and make each channel mono. So select this is your guitar. And this is your microphone so now everything is centered you can balance it now you want to connect to your friend I have uh, already set up another computer that sends me the audio so when I hit this receive I will receive the audio that another computer sends me so I can jump to it I can change the balance when I want to send the stream to that person, I click send and all my channels mixed in here. This is the channel that changes the overall mix of my inputs for me. All this mix is sent to that person that I'm sending this uh, stream to. Like this and I hit enter or just leave the field and if everything is okay, they should start receiving my stream. They will see like here my name, or oh, I should type in my name here, and they will be able to change the level of my signal and so on. Uh, there are some settings here for the network connection. When you receive audio, let's start with this. You have a port that you're using by default. You can use other ports if something doesn't work. Also buffering, if you have dropouts, uh, you can set buffer to say 256 maybe, like the size of your audio buffer or twice as that maybe. This will prevent dropouts and you'll have a more stable connection, but it will introduce some latency as well. Another option is drift compensation. This is usually set to enabled. It uh, prevents some dropouts caused by difference in clocks in different audio interfaces. But if you have a very bad connection, you may try to disable it. UPnP forwarding for incoming connection, your router can open for you the port forwarding. Uh, so for example, when you click yes, you will see that your router has opened this port and forwarded uh, it to your uh, machine where you use this fader hub. This is theoretically your external IP address that you can send to your friend who tries to connect to you. You can also try uh, other ways to find out your IP. For example, in Google it, my IP, open the site that shows you your external IP and try that. Sometimes this IP works, sometimes the IP that another site shows you works. Also, sometimes your provider doesn't really allow you to have this kind of incoming internet connections. So if you have some options with your provider to purchase additional uh, external IP or something like that, maybe it will be useful for sending uh, the port where you are sending to. By default, they are the same. So usually your friend will also have this port by default. IP, this is the IP that you should get from your friend. Packet size, if it's set to auto, it uses the default packet size that is set in preferences if you're st using standalone Fader Hub. Now the buffer size is 128 samples. You can try changing it uh, maybe to 256. With larger packet sizes, the overall connection will be also more stable and you can use some kind of lossy uh, compression to send the audio compressed so it will take less bandwidth. It will also work better with larger packet sizes. So these are the things you can try. Sometimes it takes time to set up everything properly. So I suggest you first connect with your friend using Skype or some other messenger so that you can discuss everything, see if everything works. If you hover the mouse over here, you can see the estimated latency. And the great thing is in this Fader Hub uh, software is that you can add plugins. Right now I have a very plain and 
and kind of boring acoustic guitar. I have a preset saved here. I have a tuner, so I can check my tuning. Okay, everything seems fine. And I have a couple plugins to make my guitar sound a little more interesting. So this is one of the coolest parts of this plugin, uh, the ability to load other processing to your channels, because uh, other software I've used before for online rehearsals usually can't do these kind of uh, things. That's just great that Bluegat Audio combined all of the best parts of their plugins. Fader Hub is also compatible with uh, Bluecat connector. So Fader Hub is kind of advanced version of connector. You can use it to send audio between your local machine apps. Set of possibilities is just outstanding. I also liked so much for leaf purposes. So I made some presets. I can adjust the tempo here make it stop or play again so let's try I have a MIDI keyboard that you can play some chords Switch to keyboards. So you get the idea. Uh, here, all these uh, tracks can be also recorded and muted. Let me mute this <clears throat> and let me remove the effects from my voice. There too much probably. So these are the buttons that allow you to record everything. Click this record icon, it will start recording and then you can open the folder and see all your files recorded. So you can use it as the multi-track recorder as well. So apart from live performances, you can also use it for streaming indeed. Here I have loaded OBS and in the filters section here I have loaded uh, Fader Hub, VST2 version of Fader Hub, so that it can receive the stream from my main Fader Hub standalone. It will receive what I have just mixed here and I can then easily send it to my stream. By the way, you can make all of these faders and knobs automated using this little icon show control settings. For example, you want to MIDI learn the mute button, you can easily do it and then turn off or on any channel using, for example, your foot MIDI controller or something like that. There are other ways to use Fader Hub mentioned in the manual. The fun thing is that you can theoretically load another Fader Hub inside Fader Hub. So let's try to do that. Yeah, so we can have Fader Hub inserted in our mix bus local mix bus. By the way, the FX from this mix bus are not sent to the network, so the audio is sent pre the FX. So this way you can add multiple fader hubs and add another set of tracks, mix them down here and send them to this track. Here you can add another fader hub, do this again and again, and you can have really huge mixes and uh, quite a lot of possibilities. I should say that this plugin really inspired me when I saw it. It is so easy to use. After you spend some time learning what all the knobs do, it all starts to make sense. Everything seems very well thought and very useful. So I hope you like it. I hope you uh, support. Oh, I pressed some buttons on my MIDI keyboard. 
So I hope you enjoy this little overview of Fader Hub and I hope you enjoy using it. Seems like a really great tool. And thanks to Bluecat Audio for another great plugin. I use plugin script, patchwork is very useful and this Fader Hub is even more useful than patchwork for some situations. So guys, congratulations with another great plugin in our toolbox. All the best, have fun, see you, bye bye.